Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for March 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description a box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. So we're going to be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, the box joys and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to happen with my Virgo's romantic love life for March 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so that's 8th of March, 9th of March, 10th of March, 11th of March, 12th of March, 13th of March, 14th of March. This is your love interest feelings. This is the block delays and challenges, and this is the overall outcome here, Virgo. Okay, the bottom of the deck. So it looks like someone feels like their hands are tied, like they're trapped in this situation, like there's nothing they can do about it, like this is what I have to deal with. Okay, like my back's against the wall. It's like you keep going around in circles here uh, around the situation, but it does look like there is a lack of clarity. I feel like that's really what the problem is. There's confusion because you haven't got the answers as of yet about the situation. So someone needs to give you some kind of clarity here. So let's see what this is about. Or some of you guys are going to have an aha moment. Okay, so, and that could be the obstacle blockage here. So remember, this is the day-to-day. -day, and if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, Virgo, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over everything and make it very clear cut for you guys. And if again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. And then also, let me see what else I'm picking up on here. So there's a want to move forward with the connection, but it seems like there's a frustration around it. And also some of you Virgos are like, um, Virgos are like, well, I could either keep, you know, trying to move forward with this connection or move forward to this new situation because it seems like you have a lot of options around you. So let's just keep going. Let's see what this is about. Star card shows me there's a hopeful sign here, okay? There is uh, something that you're seeing some great signs here on the 8th. So pay attention to the signs, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to, um, you know, the synergies, the signs, the numbers, pay attention to the signs on this day. You're going to get some kind of spiritual sign on the 8th, okay? Which will be very helpful, optimistic. Even though you're not getting this in a conversation, okay? Because it's like you want somebody to just say this to you, but they're not saying it, but you're going to get signs about it, okay? So you're going to get clarity in signs. If you pay attention to signs, you'll get clarity around this, okay? So it's like someone is pure in their intentions, okay? And they're, they're coming at this very purely. So just pay attention to the signs. You'll see it. All right, what's going to be Virgo's Romantic Love? March 8th through the 14th. Show my cards you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Seems like there's like this depressive kind of energy here, okay? Wanting to heal a connection and trying to stay hopeful about it. Okay, so what's going to be Virgo is romantic love life, March 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look here. So yes, there's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of happiness, but obviously there's still the sense of wanting to fix something, heal something. And I feel like the star, the star card being there, this a sign you're going to get, is going to make you very happy. Okay. It's going to bring you a sense of joy and hope for your romantic love life. Okay. So what's going to be Virgo's romantic love life? March 8th to the 13th. Show cards you to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Okay. Let's see Virgo. Because as I said, that there is somebody from before, some situation from before, it's been causing a lot of regrets. It's like a sense of feeling bad. How do I fix this situation? How do I deal with this? You know, that kind of energy is there. Let's keep going here, Virgo. One more deck here. Let's get up my Virgo's romantic love life. March 8th to the 14th. Show my cards you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
So there's some waiting, there's a cautious energy. So it looks like you regain some kind of optimism and a sense of happiness because you get some hopeful signs about some things from before, some regrets from before, the situation from before, okay? So, and we see that there is this ending for a new beginning with the death card energy, okay? And uh, there is definitely someone who is interested in being together, okay? And we see there's romance here, moon card energy. And someone's going to try to assert themselves, make a power move here to take a chance. It looks like you are connecting with someone here. This could be a relationship, okay? This could be someone you feel is a soulmate connection. Something is definitely coming to light about the situation. And it's a positive turn of events. There's somebody who sees you as the main person. Looks like there's a reconciliation and apology coming in. Because of this huge, massive shock and surprise, this massive change here with the butterfly card, something comes to light. Okay, so there's just been this waiting around because of things that happened from before. And we see a power move is going to be made here to take a chance. And something is going to change here by the 10th. Something massively is going to change here around this situation. Okay, and we see some apologies, a reconciliation, a healing here. Okay, so going further. So on the 11th, there is some self-doubt coming in. And a defensive energy about a friendship. When it comes to a commitment, engage your marriage. And wanting this situation to end. So there's concerns about hanging out, celebration, or this friend, and concerns about this ending. Okay, so let's keep going. So you're at a crossroads. I feel like you guys know, let me just talk about this. I feel like you, as I said, you have this connection, you're frustrated about it, you're wanting to resolve this frustration and possibly get back together with this person, but then also you have been, you know, there is someone around you that potentially could be a, um, a connection here. And now it seems like it's gonna put you at a crossroads here because there's a friendship you formed and there's something about this friendship and now you're at a crossroads of what, what to do here by the 12th because you're like, I could go this way, I could go this way. I could go this way, I could go this way. Which way do I go? Yeah, someone is single and available to pursue and they're trying to be there for you, trying to help you. I feel like it's like this person's like trying to give you advice and help you with this other connection. And it's like there's something forming between you and this person. And you're really shocked and surprised because you feel like this is not a coincidence. This was a little bit unexpected. But you're like, I need to delay this. And you know, I have these challenges. I have these things going on and I need to be cautious about this, okay? So let's keep going here, okay? So it looks like some of you guys may be doing some traveling on this day or this also can be talking about driving or, you know, driving in the car, traveling somewhere. Okay. Or just feeling like you, you're, you're moving ahead. You finally have some movement in your romantic love life. You're moving ahead. You're, you're, you're knowing where you're going. You feel like you know what you, what's going on with your willpower, your desires. All right. Something's happening quickly on this day. Yeah. We got this friend here coming out. All right. And uh, it's like, maybe I could bring things together with this situation. There's this opportunity that presents itself here with the key card energy. And it looks like you're gonna go out and have some fun here, okay? There's a lot of fun here. So it seems like there is this concern about this other relationship that you're coming out of, and then you're, you're, you've been hanging out, you've been like, you've, there's some options coming in for you guys, particularly with this one person that seems to be coming across as a friend. But it's like, there's something about this friend that you feel like, wow, I'm having a great time with this person. They're really helping me. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're giving me good advice and you know, I'm having a lot of fun with them. So, but you're not sure if you wanna move forward with this situation because obviously you're still kind of resolving another situation and you kind of wanna go back to this other connection. Okay, so let's keep going. So it looks like there is a, an obsessive energy, a strong desire, a strong attachment here with a devil card energy on the 14th. And again, we're going to this space of like, I'm feeling bad, I feel regretful, I can't believe this happened. And there's concerns about these disappointments. And so you're deciding, you know what? 
maybe it's time for me to move forward and not go backwards. So it looks like the, the final a situation for you is on the 14th. You're like, I need to make a decision. I need to make a decision about this. Because of, you know, family, long term, you're thinking about the long term, about this situation, okay? So you're like, I can't keep going back and forth with this situation with this person. I just need to go forward. I feel like a lot of you guys are like, um, you know what, maybe it's just time to just get rid of this heavy energy, move forward, look at the long term and just examine the situation and maybe focus on having fun and just enjoying myself and seeing what happens with this person, this, this friend that you're formed. Uh, so you see there's this waiting around to take a chance and there's this massive change and we see an ending of your caution. It's like there's this fun energy and we see family long term here. Okay, going to the bottom of the deck as well, let's just see here. So. So there's concerns about lying and deceptions about this new love and healing this connection. Because of the uncertainty, you're confused about what to do because of this ex-partner, this you know, this person, this other person that you're dealing with from before because of, of strong feelings. And it looks like you're getting advice, possibly from a mother energy as well. Okay, so there's a lot of regrets because of work or finance or just wanting to gain control of a situation and to reconcile a commitment. But there's gonna be some delays and challenges because an opportunity is gonna present itself this week to you guys. We're just gonna leave you at a crossroads and you're gonna to have to make some type of decision. Looks like about a new person coming in. Okay, so this person is a friend. All right, this person is a friend. I'm going to buy the deck here. All right, so this person is a friend. There's some air of mysteries. An abundance of unknowns and wanting to heal a situation because of love, all right? We see main person and we see kissing and making up. There's effort being put into the situation, but you have options. You see, you have options here, Virgo. And um, you are getting some communication, letter, message, documents about some breakup here, and you're trying to make the wisest decision. And it seems like there's also people around you that may be criticizing what you're doing as well with this other connection. And uh, it's like, you're like, I could fulfill my desires, my wishes, my hopes. So there's a happy energy in romance with the main person, but we see that there's this friend that's gonna cause a big shock and surprise for you guys. And then it's gonna make you question whether or not you want to bring things back together because of these disappointments. So it's gonna make you question everything, okay? So get ready to be shocked and surprised and question everything this week, okay? Cause um, it's about to happen, Virgo. You're gonna be at a crossroads about what do I do now, okay? This is definitely gonna take you by surprise, okay? So it's healing a situation, a main person wants to be together, all right? We see that there is this turn of events, the cautiousness, and someone is like trying to help. We see a friend and there's, there's about these regrets. So his friends like trying to help you, trying to give you advice, trying to be there for you. And if we look at the bottom of the deck, we see text message letter documents about a marriage, feeling trapped, knowledge about love, a message you've been waiting for, and it looks like you're having a good time, you're enjoying yourself. So you get some hopeful signs of ending a situation when it comes to a relationship and stressing and worrying about these indecisions. There is this strong will, this desire, this victory here, and a lot of overthinking with the devil card energy. So I feel like you're gonna have to make a decision this week. And one is to do with a relationship, and that's why this, this Ace of Swords is coming out. You need to get clarity. So let's see how your love interest feels about you, Virgo. Looks like your love interest wants to end this tough cycle. There's a state of confusion for this person and this person feels like there's this shock and surprise with the tower card energy. Oh my goodness, the tower card again, shock and surprise about a money and finance situation and concerns possibly about a new person. There's strong desires for this person and we see there's a lot of soul searching going on about this watching you from afar, noticing you, seeing you're having a good time, seeing you're being noticed. It looks like they're at a crossroads. 
and there's a lot of worry and stress within this person about some kind of letter, message, document, paperwork. Oh my goodness, there's something going on this week. There's definitely a shock and surprise with your love interest about feelings about some kind of distraction. Hmm. Okay, let's come back to the Ace of Swords here. Looks like, yes, another person coming in here. Okay, so let's just talk about it. This infringing party could be a friend, okay, which is what I feel like. Also, um, there could be other people around you, family members that are, are giving you their opinions on stuff here when it comes to your romantic love life as well. And I see that there is this lack of effort. And the, but there's a deep love here, okay, about uh, this relationship. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, let's put it on the right under the right deck there. Okay. All right, let's bring it all together, Virgo. Okay, Queen of Swords. Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's a truth that's gonna come out, Queen of Swords. There is potentially a new person here, Page of Wands, or a younger fire sign. So it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. You guys are feeling overwhelmed and burdened there with the Ten of Wands. We see the doll card energy. We see this meeting. And this concern is about an ending. There's travel situation happening here. We see a relationship and stuck. Single and available to pursue. Is it time when it comes to this relationship? So you can see there's a lot of questioning. Do I just go forward and become single and available to pursue? Right? Is it time? Because there's some kind of soulmate relationship coming in here. Okay, so let's go further. One more here. I want to stick this out to be happy, joyful, and not give up. So you can see there is definitely this indecision going on this week about you know this truth that the, you know you know you're realizing this truth about loyalty and devotion, and we see that there's this want to to try to stick it out, try to fix it, and. Um, you know, and then there's this situation that happens that's a divine timing here that um, it, there's some flirting going on or this potential passionate situation going on with that Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and some alone time here and a lot of fun and happy energy, something about this situation. And we see this relationship and feeling overwhelmed, burdened and wanting that to end because you're feeling stuck, but then you're not wanting to give up. So it doesn't look like you're exactly making a decision here, but there is definitely some a connection going on here that you're someone you're connecting with here that's changing your mind about moving backwards and going forward so we see this happy surprise about this house home family situation and we see renewal of the past and we see looking back to the past and feeling bad about the situation and we see there's some sly slick energy that's being taken away so it's like you feel like you're lying to yourself about the situation. Maybe you feel like you're just, you know, trying to be strategic about this. Okay. We see that there is a, this visitor, this message, this good news about a house, a home situation and somebody who wants to go after what they want. We see there's this commitment, this obligation and trying to reunite here. But we see that there is this infringing party or competition. So you can see it's very clear cut. There's there's literally two situations going on here. Okay, going further. The truth is you're getting a lot of attention, Virgo. And you do have good news. Literally, there could be even two different people here uh, that could be potentially uh, new people. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's this burden and responsibility because you're like, I want to make the wisest decision based on the long term, King of Pentacles energy. And we see this blessing that's coming in. The timing is right. And you're like, maybe I should focus in on myself and, you know, focus in on my finances with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Because there's definitely a new potential offer opportunity coming in here. Ace of Wands. So with all that being said, Virgo, let's see what you should do. All right. So 
When it comes to Virgo's romantic love life, for their highest, best, good, but best possible, how much do they do? March 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What should you do? All right. For the time being, Virgo, with the Seven of Pentacles energy coming out here, like this is like the Seven of Pentacles energy for this card is saying, be patient, dig into completion. When you have the confidence, ask for what you need. Adapt to the situation. And also, trust your instincts. You have all the resources that you need. Look beyond immediate appearances. And if you're ready, clear away the clutter, okay? And have a backup plan. Because you're gonna have abundance coming in, so congratulations on your abundance. There's some big changes coming in when it comes to your romantic love life, and it's time for you to be happy, joyful. Yes, there was mistakes that happened, but maybe this is a time for you to enjoy yourself and follow your passions, your creativity, and just sit back, relax, and stop trying to make something happen. There's a lot to be grateful for, Virgo, and you know what the signs are. You're getting some signs about some omens here about the situation, so pay attention to the signs. Stand your ground, all right? You know what the bigger picture is. You know who you are. And focus on healing. So I feel like at this time, okay, since you guys are coming out of another relationship and trying to repair that other relationship, at this time, I feel like instead of just moving, what, what I can see here from what the guidance is, instead of just moving forward and going into another situation, this is a good time to heal, just to have fun and heal and not try to make anything happen. But at this time, just kind of work on yourself Follow your creativity, your passions, okay? Because remember, we're going to attract our vibration. So if you are going to move on to someone new, Virgo, you want your vibration to be up here because that's where you want to attract, right? You don't want it to be down here. Because what happens when we are, are attracting people on this vibration when we're unhealed, once we're healed, that person's going to leave our life anyway because that was a rebound, okay? That's what, that's what rebounds are about. It, and people don't understand it's a vibrational thing. So that person's brought into your life to heal you. And then you wonder like, why is it not working out? Why do I not feel like I match with that person anymore? It's because that person was set into your life as a healing uh, soulmate. And, and that wasn't really where your energy was. Your energy was in a sad place, in a depressed place. And so that's what you attracted to help heal that energy. But that's not who you are on a regular basis. So just keep that in mind, but of course, you guys know what's best for you. So follow your heart, listen to your, your intuition. You guys know what's best for you, okay? I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.